Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another haircut tutorial. This is your boy, Killer Khan Chung from Concept Barbershop, straight out of San Jose, California. It's been a while since I made a tutorial. I've been busy. All right, but I'm here now, and I'm back with another video. This one, I hopefully you guys like this one. All right, I'm gonna do do things a little different this time around. Cause I've been trying this new technique out and uh, I really do enjoy it so what we're doing today is a number one and a half mid to high ball fade first I took down the top with the number one and a half I'm using the walls magic clips this one is modified that little black rectangle at the bottom it tells me how much battery life I have left it's pretty cool all right, so now I'm, I'm making making the ball line and I'm taking it a little bit beyond halfway. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I take it beyond halfway so that I can see it. All right, I can see where to connect the two lines. And the reason why I do one side first and then I, I do the other side so that it eliminates the problem of taking the line too high into the other side. All right, now after I meet the lines and I, I straighten it out a little bit, I go ahead and I take out all the, the bottom hair and I take it down to the skin and then I use the Philips Norelco to make it bald completely. This model is the 2100 Philips Norelco. All right, you guys should give it a try. It's really quiet and it's really smooth. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go straight into the, uh, the lineup. I usually do the lineup last, but as of recently, I started doing the, the lineup after I take down the hair. This way, um, I can keep the lineups dark. Alright, you'll see what I mean at the end. Alright, so now, I start my lineup in the middle, and then I'm taking it to the side that is higher up. And in this case, it's to, to the left. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it to the left first, and I'm staying face to face with the client, and the only thing that's moving is my hand. All right, I stay in the middle so that I can have the point of reference. All right, and then I can match it to the other side. Don't move your body, just move your hands. Always stay in the middle. And then after I line up the front, then I'll go to the side, all right? And then you wanna angle the clippers out and away from the ears you don't want to angle inward you want to angle outward all right and then i'll do the same thing to the other side again the, the angle is from the corner out and away from the ears you don't want to go into the ears all right and there it is so there's the lineup i usually do the lineup last but this time around i'm gonna do it right after the takedown and then it's back into the blending. Um, I don't make guidelines. This is not a guideline. I'm starting from the ball line. And I've explained that in a different video. Alright, and I'm starting at clippers all the way closed. And I'm going up about a quarter of an inch. In this case, probably a little bit more than, than a quarter of an inch. You kind of have to gauge it depending on the, the haircut and the space that you're you're working with and I'm gonna go ahead and take that all the way around the head clipper all the way closed and I'm going up roughly a little bit more than a quarter of an inch all right and I'm taking it way to this side and once I'm complete with that then I open the clipper about another quarter of the way which is now about um, actually this is just a quarter of the way all right and then I'm repeating the step from this side I'm taking it all the way over back to the other side and I keep repeating it until the clipper is fully open all right so I'm taking it back over to this side and I'm leaving a little bit of darkness right there so that you can see the lineup all right and that's the reason why I line up first and now the clipper is fully open and I'm just repeating the same step all right when you get close to the line be a little gentle and don't go far out beyond the line stay within the line and you're kind of blending the line out a little bit all right so i'm repeating this step and i'm taking it all the way over all right now the clipper is fully open all right and 
when I'm near the line, I try to, so I'm bling, blending up and I'm also blending out. All right, because you want to keep that line dark. All right, you want to keep that line dark right there. Okay. And there it is. Now, after I then completely blended out the, the no guard, I brush it down to uh, get rid of all the hair that may be stuck to the skin. And now I'm doing touch up work. Wherever you see dark spots or lines, just go back and just touch it up before you move on to the next guard. Now I'm using the zero guard. Alright. And I'm doing the same steps. Guard all the way close and I'm going up about a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. Alright. And I'm using the circular motion. Alright. I don't like to use the up and down motion because I feel like it creates more lines. This is similar to using the corner technique, but it is more of a circular motion. Again, it's the same method. Start from one side, you work it all the way to the other side, you open up a quarter of the way, and then you repeat, you come back, and you keep doing that back and forth until you're fully open like right now. Fully open with the zero guard. All right. As the higher up you go into the blend, you want to flick out a little bit more. In this case, my circular motion is a little bit wider. All right, and I'm lighting up on the on the uh, pressure that I'm applying so that it can blend. All right. All right. Same technique. After you open all the way, now you want to brush it down again, and then you go back and you do touch of work. It's the same technique, and it just repeats itself. Alright, right here I'm just doing touch up work. I'm lightly blending that line also. You don't want it super dark to where it's, it's a little bit, uh, you know, obvious. You want to blend it out a little bit. Alright, now I'm into the number one guard. Again, same technique as before. Alright, you start on one side. You go up about a quarter of an inch. But now, now you have to blend it out because... Now that you're on the one guard, the top is a one and a half guard, there's nothing in between that. So you have to blend the fade out with the one guard. Alright, so as the higher up you go, you have to loosen up on your pressure and more flicking with your wrist to create the blend. Alright, so you work that all the way around the head. Same technique as the rest of the other guards. Alright. And there goes the blend. Again, you come back and you do touch up. You always want to come back, check your work, and do your touch up work. Make sure you didn't miss anything. All right, you want to be thorough with it. You want to be, you know, precise. All right, so check your work, touch it up, make sure it's clean. All right, you guys. All right, now after the touch up work, um, I'm gonna go ahead and give them the razor, straight razor. Remember to stretch the skin. You don't stretch the skin, you're gonna slice your client's head. All right, so stretch the skin and clean everything up. And there it is, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Feels good to be back. I'll put up more videos. Love y'all. Easy.